The Gooey Chewy Contest by Howard Goldsmith, illustrated by Charles Jordan. Contents The Contest The Bubble Banking Machine Getting Ready The World's Biggest Bubble High in the Sky Oh, my aching jaw. The Contest On his way home from school, Gabby passed a sign. Enter the Big Bubble Blowing Contest presented by the Gooey Chewy Bubblegum Company. Can you blow the biggest bubble? Come to Lincoln Park Saturday, May 10th at noon. I'm going to enter that bubble blowing contest, Gabby told Joslito. Joslito laughed. A little kid like you? You know I blow the biggest bubbles in town. Gabby Gomero was the shortest boy in his class. Joslito Flaquito was the tallest. Joslito always made fun of Gabby's height. I'll show him what a little kid can do, thought Gabby, but he wondered how he could win the contest. Then he remembered Uncle Tio Salbrito, the inventor. I'll go ask Uncle Tio, Gabby decided. Maybe he can help me. Uncle Tio lived in Salbrito Manor, a house he had built himself. There was something special about Salbrito Manor. It looked like a spaceship. Gabby was always afraid Salbrito Manor might blast off into space, taking Uncle Tio with it. But the last time Gabby visited Uncle Tio, the manor was still there. Gabby looked forward to seeing his uncle again. The Bubble Making Machine When Gabby arrived at Salbrito Manor, Uncle Tio shouted a warm greeting. How are you, Gabby? Gabby told Uncle Tio about the bubble blowing contest. Did you say bubble? Uncle Tio exclaimed. Come, I'll show you something. He led Gabby down the hall to a room at the rear of the house. A large machine stood before them. See if you can guess what it is, said Uncle Tio. It's the only one of its kind in the entire world. That's because I made it. Gabby scratched his head puzzled. I'll show you how it works, said Uncle Tio. He poured a bottle of liquid soap into an opening, then he turned a crank. The machine shook up and down, sideways, crank, gurgle, boing, pow. A large, round bubble floated up out of the machine. Do you see that? asked Uncle Tio. A real beauty. Gabby tried to catch the bubble, but it flew up to the ceiling. Another bubble rose from the machine, followed by a third and a fourth and more. They went sailing by too fast for Gabby to count. I'll get it, said Gabby. It's a bubble-making machine. Correct, Uncle Tio jumped up and down with glee. Look at them go, my boy. Bubbles streamed through the air as thick as snowflakes during a storm. How do you turn it off, Gabby asked. Uncle Tio pressed a switch, but nothing happened. The switch must be broken, he said, blowing a bubble off his nose. The room was so filled with bubbles, they kept bursting as they bounced off the walls and ceiling. The machine rocked back and forth, going bloop, beep, beep, bloop. Bubbles poured out of endless numbers faster and faster. Finally, Uncle Tio took a huge wrench and whacked the machine. It coughed and shivered, sputter, groan, eek. The machine suddenly stopped. It leaned to one side, then tilted to the other, and collapsed getting ready. The machine was fun while it worked, said Uncle Tio. Yeah, said Gabby, but even if you fix it, it won't help me win the bubble gum blowing contest. Why didn't you say bubble gum? I have just the thing for you, Uncle Tio. Opened a drawer and took out a small box. Inside this box is something very special. Cerebro's Miracle Bubble Gum. There is only one piece, so take good care of it. What is so special about it, Gabby asked. Wait until Saturday and you will see, Uncle Tio said, smiling shyly. In the meantime, read the instructions and practice working your jaw up and down. Gabby thanked Uncle Tio and left. He tried to read the instructions, but the ink was smeared. He remembered to work his jaw, though, and hoped for the best. Gabby went over to his friend Pepita's house. What's wrong with your jaw? Pepita asked. Nothing, Gabby said. I'm just practicing for the bubble blowing contest. Look what my Uncle Tio gave me. What is it? Pepita asked. Some kind of special gum. I hope it helps me win the contest.
They could hardly wait for Saturday to come. The world's biggest bubble. Finally, the big day arrived. Gabby and Pepito went together to Lincoln Park. The contest started. The first contestant was a red-haired boy who blew a medium-sized bubble. Next, a blonde girl blew a three-part bubble that split up in the middle. The third contestant lost a tooth inside his bubble. Then it was Holzlito's turn. He took a breath and blew. A bubble slowly began to form. At first it looked like a ripe apple. Moments later it grew to the size of a grapefruit. Soon it was as large as a balloon. But Jose Lito wasn't satisfied. He kept blowing until his face turned purple. He blew and he blew until pop, splat, the bubble burst. Bubble gum stuck to Jose Lito's face, covering his nose, eyes, cheeks, and eyebrows. Gabby laughed. Then everyone else started to laugh. When they saw Gabby still working his job up and down, the judge signaled for Gabby to begin. Gabby took one last look at the smudged instructions, crossed his fingers, and put the gum in his mouth. After chewing it thoroughly, he began to blow. A bubble the size of a golf ball slowly appeared. In no time, it was as big as a baseball. Then something strange happened. To Gabby's amazement, the bubble began to blow itself. It swelled to the size of a basketball. Wow, cried Pepita. Everyone stared at the biggest bubble in the world. They waited for it to burst, but it continued to grow. It became twice as big as a basketball, then three times as big. How big would it get? High in the sky, as everyone was wondering how big the bubble could possibly get, Gabby suddenly floated off the ground, lifted up by the giant bubble. Grab him, the mayor yelled. Pull him down. But Gabby slipped through the hands and rose above the crowd. Spit out the gum, Pepita shouted. I thant, Gabby said, trying to say I can't. The gum was stuck in his mouth. I'm trying to spit it out, but I thant. Gabby was ten feet off the ground. A wind lifted him twenty feet in the air. He kept rising higher and higher. Watch out for that tree, Pepita yelled. Gabby missed the tree by an inch. He floated over the park. How will I ever get down, he thought. The park looked smaller and smaller to him. The wind carried Gabby past the park and over the town. He gazed down at the rooftops. There was his own house right below. Then he saw Celbrito Manor. If only Uncle Tio could help. Tio! Celbrito! Gabby cried, but he was too high to be heard. A flock of pigeons came flying up behind him. They were heading straight for the giant bubble. Gabby was afraid they would get stuck in it, but the pigeons flew around him at the last second, and Gabby continued to float high into the sky. Oh, my aching jaw! Suddenly, Gabby heard a great roar. The air shook. Gabby shook. He looked up and saw a helicopter whirling above him. Gabby waved for help, but the pilot didn't see him. What am I going to do, he wondered. Gabby closed his eyes for a moment. When he opened them, Uncle Tio was beside him. How could that be? I must be dreaming, Gabby thought, and then he realized his uncle was standing inside a bubble. But what was he wearing? It was a funny-looking outfit with a pack strapped to his back. Uncle Tio moved his mouth furiously. He seemed to be shouting something, but Gabby couldn't hear him. Then, to Gabby's great surprise, Uncle Tio reached out through the bubble, and the bubble lifted away. Hold on, my boy, Uncle Tio shouted as he grabbed Gabby around the waist. Pop! Gabby's bubble suddenly burst. Gabby and Uncle Tio tumbled to the, through the air, plunging towards the ground. Swoosh! The pack on Uncle Tio's back opened into a great big umbrella. No, it was a parachute. They floated down over the park and landed right at the mayor's feet. The crowd cheered. Sobrito, you're a genius, said the mayor, and a hero too. What a daring rescue mission. The president of the Gooey Chewy Bubblegum Company gave Gabby a case of bubblegum. This is your prize for blowing the biggest bubble, he declared. Thank you, Gabby said, but I won't be able to chew it for a week. My jaw hurts. Everyone laughed. 
Gabby shared the gum with all his friends, even Joselito, who looked a little shorter after the contest. Just then, Uncle Tio took something from his pocket. I found some more of Sobrito's Miracle Bubble Gum, he announced. No more Miracle Gum for me, said Gabby, but maybe Joselito would like it, he added with a gleam in his eye.